Hello folks and welcome. So LMDE6 has been released. Linux Mint Debian Edition. Cinnamon Desktop. Codename Fake. Uh, the Cinnamon version is 5.8.4 and the kernel is a 6.1 series kernel. You can see my hardware. If you need the minimum specifications to uh, install and run uh, LMDE6, then I would check that out at uh, Linux Mint's website or you can do your favorite search engine on the internet. Today I'm going to talk about power options. This is for any user, experienced and or brand new. I'm going to approach it from the angle of uh, brand new. But I'm going to talk about uh, creating uh, launchers, a simple one like that that you can create in about 10 seconds. I'll talk about the, um, the power key with or without a timer. I'll talk about uh, assigning a keyboard shortcut that does the same. And uh, also talk about maybe some applets and desklets to do the same power options. So again, welcome folks. I'm filming in 1920 by 1080 today. You can adjust your YouTube player accordingly. A lot of them default to 460. That's a lot less screen res that I'm filming in. So I'm gonna use um, Alt and F4 to close that. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is desklets and then I'll move on to applets and uh, talk about uh, well, the pro progressions of, uh, of things. So this is a desklet. Right click, desklet. I'm gonna talk about that one. So you can get this shutdown Linux uh, desklet in the download section. If you've never opened this or you just installed your system from fresh, allow this to refresh. If you're interested in a desklet, click it and hit the light bulb and you can read all about it on Linux Mint's website. But more importantly, Hit the download arrow key if you want it, if you want this shutdown Linux. All right, and then after it's uh, in the managed area, you can hit the plus to activate it. All desklets are usually produced on this side. And in most cases, in most cases, you can move them. This one, on the other hand, did not move for me. It just stayed there. And the second thing I didn't like about it, it has no options and it's only a black and white one. No color. That's one of the reasons I created that one. That one's created by me. More importantly, I'm going to show you what it looks like. So uh, whether I click this one and this one, they both have to be double clicked to perform an action. In other words, shut down the system and both will do the same job. However, this one is a black and white one and it kind of clashes with certain wallpapers. So that's one of the reasons, but I wanted to let you see that there is one available in case you wanted to try this for yourself. Now, a word of caution, anytime you're dealing with power keys, I don't care if they're shut down or restart keys, or even the standard one, always save your work. When you got open documents, save them. Got uh, web browsers that you haven't saved links, save those links. Save your stuff before continuing with power keys. So this is a desklet, now that you've seen what that looks like. These down here, I have three little things to show you um, regarding Applets. Applets are little toys that you can throw on your panel. You can right click your panel bar and mine is semi see-through. That's a video for another day. Um, system settings. You can click on applets here in the preference area. You can also open up your mint menu and click system settings and find applets here. Easiest way folks is to right click on your panel and look for that puzzle piece that says applets. All right, so applets are very similar to desklets. They can be in the download area. Again, let the cache refresh. Click it, read all about it, and more importantly, I, when you want to install something, you click that. If you're curious about this large scroll bar width, um, my previous video explains how to do all that stuff. So I have another video for you if you haven't seen my first video on the official release of LMDE6. Again, subscribe and Go to the uh, community tab to do keyword searches if you're not too keen on that. So I have three of these applets installed. The first one is called Shutdown Applet by iCarter09. The second one is called Shutdown Menu with Icons by Nicholas01. And the last one that I have to demo for you is Shutdown Timer by looks like webum.by. I just have three options. You may not like any of them, but normally you would probably only install one if you wanted this, if you wanted this. But I'm gonna demo this nonetheless. So that's what that one looks like and you can slide the timer on. 
You can also right click on this icon and do some selections. The next one in line is this one and you can right click on it and it looks like it has some options and configuration also. This one here is like a no frills, no icons, just basically click and right clicking, no options. A lot of these things will also power down your system when you click the shutdown. Just be aware of that. Okay. Now, before I show you how to create one of these, let's talk about a couple more options. This standard power key, you just installed LMDE6. You normally don't have a timer here, by the way. I put that on. So let me demo that. Right click, system settings. It's done under general. I'm going to turn this feature off to let you see the standard one. That's what you normally have. So I've got the, the uh, shutdown, cancel, and restart, just to name a few. However, I also have another option turned on that I have a keyboard assignment done with a single key. I could use two keys or three, but I did it with one to do the exact same job. So that key is currently assigned to F12. You will not have that assigned. I did it manually. I'll show you how to do this. If I decided to use the timer, it would also have the timer on it because this F12 also emulates this key. So let's go into the settings for a second and talk about keyboard. Now you can see the reference to that big scroll bar. Anyways, so let's talk about keyboard and the relationship with general and the middle section called miscellaneous options. So enable timer with logging out or shutting down. If you want a timer to go with this key, where it will auto shut down in X amount of seconds, slide this on and you plug in the time frames. I would highly suggest something over 10 seconds. If you want, I'll put 16 and hit enter on my keyboard and then close this. Now this has 16 seconds. I could force the shutdown or the cancel or the restart. I got to do something before it counts down. But I could literally walk away without touching any keys and it'll power off my system in X amount of seconds. I'm going to do that before it stops. I probably want a little bit better time frame. So I'm going to right click this time on the panel and hit system settings and go to general. And uh, let's make that 35 seconds and hit enter and then close. Hitting my F12 also gives me 35 seconds and I'll cancel here and this does the same. So that key emulates the same thing as me clicking that. So what's, where's all that magic done with assigning keys? All right, I'm going to right click this time, system settings. You can of course do the same by clicking that, but scroll down to the hardware section and find keyboard. Shortcuts. Okay. And then I am going to uh, click only one section today. You will find that a lot of these keys will have three sets of keyboard bindings, sometimes a single key, sometimes multiple keys to a function. This will be a function. Shut down. It's currently assigned to Control, Alt, and End and F12. I'm going to unassign this. Yours may be assigned to a power key, like on your laptop or console. So if it is, you can still pick the third spot. But let me first talk about the control alt and end to clarify things for some new users. I have uh, keyboard layouts of two country keyboards and I'm going to use uh, Icelandic. No, I'm going to use the English, but more importantly, I'm going to show the keyboard. So the uh, keyboard function for this is going to be control alt and end. So I'm going to be pressing this one down and holding it. And then I'm going to be pressing that one down and holding it. So with my left hand, I can hit control. You can see it depressed and alt and depressed, but I can't reach my hand over to the end. So I'll use my other hand for that. So really it's a two handed process. Okay. It does the same dialog box as me pressing this key right here. Okay. So with that said, you can leave this alone and then assign your own just by clicking on that. And it says pick an accelerator. In other words, pick a set of keys or a single key. Now I'm going to use Alt and F12 for my first example. That requires me to press Alt, hold it down and, and F12. So in this case, again, for you new users, this will be an Alt, either one or either one of these and the F12 key. Okay. 
The reason I don't pick the F11, because the F11 normally on a web browser is full screen. But nonetheless, I'm going to press the Alt. You can see that I pressed it here and then the F12 and it does that. I know it didn't light up because it was just too quick. But since I don't want to use two hands, I'm going to click this again and just pick F12 all by itself. F12 with a timer or without a timer. So again, if I back out of the screen and go to the top and do this and turn this off and go back downstairs and do the same thing, looking at that F12, I have no timer. It emulates whatever that setting is for not only this, but also that button. They are linked together because that's a shutdown command. So far, so clear, hopefully. So I'm going to turn the timer back on. Again, you plug in the time frames. My recommendation is something over 10 seconds. Your choice though, your, your system, in case you want to use that. And you certainly don't have to use keyboard shortcuts, but I find them handy to be able to walk over to my keyboard and do this and walk away from the machine. And in 30 seconds, it's going to power down my system. I don't know about you, but I find that convenient. All right, so now you know how to assign keys. What about this thing? What does it do? Well, this is more of a convenience thing. You double click and it powers down the system. It's very similar to, uh, again, this desk light right here. This does the exact same job except that one is just black and white. But you can create these. And again, I had a difficult time trying to move it. So again, that's one of the reasons I chose to make my own. Now, how do you make one of these? It's actually extremely simple. However, if you have seen some of my older videos, you may want to pay attention to the command today. It's slightly different. Right click, create new launcher, third item. Right click, create new launcher. All right, I'm going to call my next one off because I can. You can call it whatever you want. Now, the command is very um, literal, so it's power off. I have a what looks to be like a blue arrow. Again, I'm filming in 1920 by 1080. So it's power off all lower cases, no spaces. What if I leave an F off? Well, you go to a red X. That's not valid. You have to have two Fs there. So power off. You okay with the icon, the rocket? Then hit OK. You want something fancy? Then click that. So let's talk about fancy icons. We can do emojis. We can even do a uh, face cool over here if you like, or maybe a black and white one. It's just icons. You can do devices. You can uh, even do silly stuff like speakers or battery symbols or anything from that matter. You can also assign your own. You can hit browse and bring in your own folders. So I have an icon folder. I've been doing this for many years and I've collected these icons for over the, I think, uh, at least past six years. Some of these I made, some of these I downloaded off the internet, some of them I've altered. So some of you folks that uh, remember my old channel probably have seen this one many times. I like to use it just as an attention getter. Stormtrooper with red eyeballs. Now, well, let's not get silly. But uh, type in S-H-U-T. Let's uh, get into some something a bit more important, um, something similar to that. So you got three, three red icons and one black and white one for a power. Also, this one here, if you folks remember the old wall switches that kind of slide up and down, and some of you folks probably still have some of those. Some newer wall switches have paddles on them, but... In either case, that's what that's supposed to represent. And then you've got the, what it looks to be like the skull and bone thing. I'll pick that one. It's called System Shutdown. Same icon as this. However, the actual launcher name is different. I called it off and this one's powered off. It doesn't matter. They both use the same command. That is the key to this whole thing. The command itself is power off, no options. On some of my other older videos, you may have seen me use options. But more importantly, are comments required? No, they're just optional. Again, so is the rocket icon. You could have left it and hit OK. Now, I gave it that red icon. I don't need a comment. I don't need to launch it in terminal. I don't need to use a dedicated GPU. I'm going to hit OK. 
Now the next one is, I would highly suggest you answer yes. If you do no, it will not be part of your menu. In case you delete this icon, you, you can always retrieve it if you answer yes in the Mint menu. Would you like to add this launcher to the menu, Mint menu also? It will be placed in the other category. That's irrelevant. I'll tell you what, because all you got to do is start typing like off. And there it is. And that comes in handy because again, both of these are, are the same icon in case you delete that by accident. I can still go find it. OFF. Now the next thing I'm going to talk about is placing these icons on your panel and possibly your favorites and desktop. If you place them in your favorites or panel, be extremely careful with these keys. They are single click keys. They will power off your system immediately and they do not ask questions. But I will show this to you anyways. There are two ways that I can get the icon here and here and one way on my desktop. So you can uh, drag the icon over here and I can also drag it down there or I can use the same icon and drag it down here. This is my caution to you. It is your system. This is more forgiven because I can actually hit cancel because I have 34 seconds to think about it. If I click that, I don't have any chance. It powers the system down. If I click the same, it powers the system down. It is not like this icon. This is an instantaneous power down. So is that. It's your system. If you want to put those icons there, you do it at your own risk. Okay, I'm going to pull mine out. But this is for the folks that want those on there. I prefer double clicking myself. Now, one more thing to think about when you put icons on your desktop, since I deleted the off uh, by accident. Well, you know I did it on purpose, but by accident. There are two ways to place your icons on your desktop. Actually not, only one. That would be right clicking and add to desktop. What would happen if you try to drag this icon to the desktop? You may have already done this before. It produces a remnant. It's like a glitch. Now, one of these days I'm hoping Clem and his team will figure out a, a system where you can do this. Drag the icon and drop it there without putting this remnant there. You, you really just want to do it this way. Okay, now you can see the icon. But let's get rid of this. Right click on your panel, troubleshoot, restart cinnamon. I'm not going to edit this video, by the way, folks. Restarting cinnamon, I can do that while filming. I don't need to edit the video afterwards. Okay, that just cleared up the screen. It just did a refresh and the remnants is gone. It reset my icons at the same time. So restarting cinnamon does not restart my system as an FYI. But more importantly, I can now move these around. So if you are doing this, I'll use the same example. My advice to you is to right click and add to desktop. If you are wanting to do all three, add to your panel and favorites, you can certainly do that. If I add to favorites, it will place the icon here. But as soon as I click that, it blanks the menu out like this. And there's the icon. This is still a single click. Be very careful with these. Again, it's your system. So uh, my next video is going to be about custom icons. This is for only for the folks that want to try something similar to this. Okay, and I'll talk a little bit about uh, customization of the, of the menu. Not everybody's cup of tea. Thank you for watching.